Hi everyone and welcome back to the Hobby Dude 007 channel. I haven't done an update on my 40 Ford build lately, so I thought I would do that today, give you the direction that I finally decided on going on. Of course, if you're a modeler, you know many things are subject to change. Uh, but let's, let's get started and let's have some fun. Okay guys, so the direction I've decided to go, and I'm sorry that this thing's a little bit late getting out, but I'm having to be someone else right now. <laughs> so anyway, um, what I want to do is make this vehicle kind of my channel. I don't know if you want to use the word mascot or if I ought to use just the, the channel vehicle or something. But I'm going to do either, I'm still deciding on a three or two tone paint job, but I pretty much I already know the colors either way. But right along here, it will have Hobby Dude 007 and then the Bond figure holding the model car. And um, it's because of the colors, I guess you, the first thing you noticed in the opening is the, let me take the camera down here. The uh, color of the wheels, I was going to do that traditional hot rod red with the trim rings and, and all of that stuff, but the more I looked at it and the colors, and I'll be honest with you, that hot rod red on the rims, you, with any color body, that just looks good. But I decided to go with black because of the colors I'm going to use will be a, um, a metallic black or a metallic charcoal gray, uh, and then a, the upper portion white with a separation line there. And, um, but I think it looks pretty good. Now, I don't know how you like the stance, but I, I kind of like that where it is. And I mocked up the other side a little bit lower. Um, as you can see, that one's a bit lower, but I kind of personally like the driver's side stance here. So I think I'm going to just stay with that. But, um, so that, that's the direction I'm going. And... Let me tell you what I'm going to do in the back. I told you I was going to have some stuff uh, in the in the back and the back door open. So uh, what I've decided to do is, let me get this back up here, is since we're model builders, I'm going to put a workbench back there. So uh, I was going to have just some model stuff kind of being hauled around. But um, if you remember my stool, I'm going to have that back there. And I am going to build a uh, workbench on the, this side. I may even put some interior lighting up inside there so you can see it. And you may remember, uh, as part of that cargo, I made these model car. These are model car boxes. I've got to print. I've got the stuff um, my son-in-law is working on. I'm going to print that out and then have that as mo just a bunch of model car boxes in the back with different models on it. And uh, I think I shared with you before, too my uh if it'll focus maybe it will maybe it won't uh air compressor and i've got to add the the airlines and all that kind of stuff to it and of course the power cord that kind of thing so that's coming that'll be in the back and in the interior i'm going to do the modern dash i think i'm going to use some nascar uh, digital gauges and the photo etch um, modern CD player and all that stuff. As you see in this picture here of a 58 Corvette Custom I'm working on too with the CD sticking out of the CD player which I thought was really cool. And of course um, the modern more modern seats. And even with that I, I, I kept wrestling with whether I wanted to do a modern like hopped up coyote engine or something like that but for some reason I still want to just stick with that flathead. So uh, I think I'm going to do that, and part of my signature is that exploded kind of look. So I will have an engine in the car, but I'm also going to have uh, a flathead kind of sitting along beside it. You know, these uh, 40 Fords come with that engine stand for the flathead or the nail head, so I'm probably going to do that. Oh, and also, let me lay these up here. Um, if you remember my um, display or little diorama honoring uh, scale auto Jim Hawk. You remember the model car I had on the uh, the table being photographed. Well, of course, if I've got a workbench in the back, then I've got to have a car. So, uh, man, you really can't tell what it is in that view there, but I don't know if you can see. This is one of those old AMT 
trophy topper things. And uh, I got the scale ruler out. I had to shorten it a little bit, and it's a fastback. So, um, and I also did kind of like what's on the scale auto thing, a coupe, and I cut out the front end and shortened the bumpers, and I even flattened out and sanded down on the roof so it's more of a chop top. Uh, and, and those will be on the workbench back there in the back uh, with the compressor of the boxes. And I'm even going to try to make uh, kind of like a mat like this to put on the thing. I don't know how any of this is going to go, but hey, I, I'm think we'll see. We'll see. Um, the 3D printed engine... I've got a little problem. My aluminum, if you remember my machined aluminum uh, flathead finned heads here, um, are a little bit big. But I know how to fix that. You see, if we put it up there, they're, well, I guess I better get it on camera. Whoops. They're a little tall up top side. But what I'm going to do is I'll take a piece of uh, um, sheet plastic and put it across the top glue that down and then I'll plane this off nice and flat and then the uh, high rise or the the intake with the three uh, Stromberg carburetors will be on that um, let's see and by the way I, I did find from uh, scale parts 3d 3d printing these are hollow too as you you, know, you may be able to see but um, flathead headers and check that out they fit right on that thing beautifully so we'll be going there too and i'm going to make it uh, three on the tree gonna have the shifter and the turn signal shifter or switch on the uh, aluminum uh, steering shaft and i'm going to use uh, photo etch um, steering wheel as well getting on to the body we got, i got a few problems there uh, the guys that are building them, you guys already know that these wheel wells are not round. They are, this is a little flat spot here. There's a couple here and here. So, um, as I showed in another video, I'm going to be using, um, um, just a Microsoft bottle and that's the perfect size there. And, uh, I'm going to be just put some sandpaper around it, work it back and forth and it'll just round that right back out. Um, and again, if you don't, it, on, in 24th scale, if you encounter that, a small medicine bottle, which is a little bit, just a fraction bigger, do the same thing. Um, let's see. A few other things. The other guys, the ones that are in part of this thing that are doing this know how much you have to sand and, and reshape a little bit of the hood to get it to fit. And I got this one looking pretty good, but I was looking through, um, um, some of my yard sale finds and you can see this hood is beaten, banged up something awful. Looks like somebody already tried to sand that uh, chrome strip off of there. And this also, hey, also notice here, it doesn't have the bell shape on the inside. Uh, and I don't know if that helps the shape of it because this thing, as you can see, I had to fill all that in and it's not, you know, it'll, it'll need another coat. But even with the hinges on this one, Watch this. Bam. It is a perfect fit. So this is probably the hood I'm going to end up going with. Uh, I'm still probably going to remove the hinge areas there. Um, and I'm also going to cut out... Let me take this back down again. Um, this open part of the grill here. I'm going to cut that out because I'm using that photo etch... Um, grill and once that's in there you'll be able to see through it to the radiator and I'm going to scratch build a radiator that you'll be able to see through as well and I'll, I'll touch on that later well in fact for another vehicle I've already done one let me get it back here um, this is not for this vehicle but well I don't know if you can see but yeah you can see through it a little bit but I'm going to be doing uh, one like that yeah, there you go. I'll be doing scratch building a radiator like this one to go in here so you'll be able to see through to the either the electric fan or the fan on the, uh, the car itself. And let me put the camera back here. Um, 
Also, you notice the cowl vent is cut open. And if you remember my 39 Ford gasser, uh, as you see here, I've got that vent pushed up. And there's, there's a story behind that, and I'll share it real quick. When I was growing up, my dad had a 39 Ford sedan. Um, same as the 40, tail lights, grill, that kind of stuff were a little bit different. But going down the road up into the uh, late 60s and even into the 70s, I'd reach over and push that lever down or pull that lever up to open or close that vent. So air would come in. Like, that was kind of like your air conditioning in a way. And um, I, I just, a lot of builds, I always do that. I used to do that with one of my grandfather's uh, 30, I think it was a late, 30s something um is it a mercury or a ford but i'd go out and play in the car and and um open and close that vent it was just you know kids are fascinated with that kind of stuff but uh so i've cut that open i need to clean it up a little bit and i'm going to have that in the up position as well um and once again i'm going to be removing the door handles all of the chrome trim uh smoothing out all of these mold mold uh lines here and um, I look forward to having some fun with it. And with that, stick around. I'm going to go ahead and get the body sanded down, and then we'll take a quick look at what it's going to look, well, what it looks like with some primer on it. And we'll take that interior out, and I'll let you see how I'm going to do the uh, uh, workbench back there. Stick around. Okay, so where we are now, here's our interior out. And I'm going to be taking um, and probably will use my 3M um, sanding pen to get up in here and take these out. I'm going to do that back here too, but I'm really thinking about cutting this floor totally away and using, um, I've had this for a while, but I think it's time to use it, the uh, real wood uh, bed floor and for trucks and stuff. There's a couple of pieces of really thin uh, balsa in there and you see the uh, metal strips that go in the bed or in the back in this case and I'm gonna like I said I'm gonna build the workbench on this side the stool will be here and I may have a compressor mounted over here something like that but uh, that's where we're going there the hood really had some deep gouges in it so I've got that kind of fixed up got the um, um, trim removed and it still fits uh, right on here really great if I can stay in frame there just got some sanding in to clean that up a little bit and it's looking good uh, again I'm going to move uh, remove a good bit of the uh, firewall and modify some of that and all of these like the hood hinge holes will be filled in these uh, interior mounting uh, bolts will have plates over those so you won't see those either and on the uh, of course the battery mount will be removed you see how rough it is in a couple of spots down here I still haven't rounded these back out perfectly yet I did go ahead and open up the grill a little bit I've still got some finished sanding up in here to do and this one had a little bit of a dimple right there uh, more of the injection things. I don't know if it just didn't get enough uh, plastic in it or what, but that's an easy fix. I'm going to put some plastic in these grooves where the bumper guards come out because this is going to be uh, a mild custom, so there won't be bumpers on it. And same thing on the back of the body where the bumper mounts come out. That'll all be smoothed out. And this is going to be shortened just a touch because the sedan delivery, as you see, is a little bit long it's not even across the back of the fender so that'll be that'll be leveled out too and i really hate this molded in uh, exhaust system i started the other pieces that come with the kit to go ahead and add them in here but you know it, it just i don't know it doesn't look right and then i i uh, was watching and keeping up with everybody else what everybody else is doing and i saw where uh, pappy um Brett Henry was had removed the panels, I think, to about here. But I'm thinking about removing them all the way. Well, I may leave the fuel tank in there, but removing them all the way. Uh, I, I'm going to have to look and see what this is going to look like without all that gone. But uh, we'll see. But I, I'm really thinking about removing all that because I just I don't care for molded in. Uh, well, I guess it depends on the kit sometimes, too. 
but uh, I started to even build another chassis, but for the sake of time, I'm, I'm really just going to use this, because this is going to be a shelf model anyway. It's not a competition type thing. Um, so that's where we are right now. And I'm going to get a little more body work done, a little more to the chassis, and I'll be right back. Okay guys, uh, here's our chassis with all of those panels removed. If you remember, here's an old glue bomb one that I have. Um, and you see how, how it looks. And I tell you what, it made a big difference without that molded in uh, exhaust system and all. I, I really kind of like this. And I think I know what I'm going to do to fill that in too. Uh, and we'll get to that in the next episode there. But I got the uh, exhaust... Uh, system removed from this side just took the dremel and lightly ground that away and i think it turned out pretty good and then i took my uh, jeweler's files and just kind of cleaned up the little edges down in there so i think it's looking looking pretty good um also uh that hood as you can see here that scratch that was in it that stuff i've got that smoothed out and we'll get primer i'm not going to get primer on it right now but there's a few other things that i'm going to make some changes on i was thinking about doing an a-arm suspension on this but since it's just going to be more of a shelf model anyway there's some cleanup as you see on here uh the injection marks that i think i'm gonna go ahead and just use the straight axle i'm not sure yet i'm, I'm that's subject to change too um the body i've gone ahead and removed all of the chrome trim the door hinges and if you don't have a scribing tool to me a scribing tool this thing is really worth worth it um i know uh, lucas he's talked about it too but just lightly down in here and after you sand i mean just really re redoes the the lines beautifully um, but got all of that done and I had a little, uh, slip with a knife and you see where I've had to go back and throw some mud on that. And that's all cleaned up too. Also, um, did, the oops, sorry, the back door, which is going to be open, uh, went ahead and, and removed the hinges and I plugged the handle hole there, as you can see. And, uh, this is going to be, like I said, custom. And I'm thinking, I'll go, well, I haven't removed the inside yet, but I'll remove these injection marks. And I'm thinking about coating that in like a carbon fiber when it's open. I, I don't know yet. Um, one of those things, you just do it as you go. And the bottom part here, and you also notice I went ahead and filled in, as I said I would, these, these spaces down here. And I've got to sand yet that stuff out and I'll get some primer on it. And I'll grind away a lot of these uh, injection pin marks on the bottom too. Um, I think it looks pretty good. And I went ahead and smoothed out a little bit more in there where the grill, the photo etch grill is going to go. Also on the body real quick, I almost forgot. Um, I smoothed, took all of the, the molded in uh, lines and wires and all that kind of stuff off of here. As you can see, it's nice and smooth all up in here. And I've all gone ahead and plugged up everything with some plastic. I've got to trim all that stuff back and uh, sand it and get it really smooth. And then I'm going to reshape a little bit. Uh, I'll show you when we get back to that. And, of course, the cowl. Like I said, I've got to build the inside of the cowl compartment, and then that will be raised. Um, the cowl vent will. There's still some cleanup inside these windows that needs to be done, too. And lastly, for now, we talked about um, the interior. And because I'm going to have to have a door hinge device in the back back here, I went ahead and took my contour gauge to get my... Uh, and you see where I've got my little uh, mark here to get, allow myself some room and then the mark here for the length of the workbench. And I'm going to go to that mark right there. And you see I've got the shape for the table. Oops. Go to right there. And you see I've got the shape 
for the top of the table so it'll be nice and flush in there. So I'll transfer that over to some uh, sheet plastic and then uh, we'll have a nice clean edge right around that uh, for our workbench. And I think that's it for right now. In the next one, oh, oh, let me show you this too. I was going through my uh, photo etch box and I found this uh, from Scale Repros. These are glass pack mufflers. Are those not beautiful? And I'm thinking about, I want to redo the exhaust system, putting those things down here. I'm not sure where I'm going to put them quite yet, but uh, I just thought those were really cool. And uh, so we'll, we'll take a look at those too. And let's see, in the next, uh, next one, we're going to look at scratch building that radiator like we talked about. Uh, and also, we're going to get some engine work done. And then I'll show you anything else on the interior I'm going to get done. Um, I've gone ahead since the, the lever for the gear shift is on the column. I went ahead and filled in the shifter hole there. And I've got to sand and I've still got to, to start working on all this other stuff. And then re, uh, preparing the floor and all of that in the wood. So I think that's it for right now. Thanks for uh, watching. Uh, look forward to the next one, which shouldn't be too far down the road. Thanks a lot. Y'all have a great one. If you haven't subscribed, please do. And uh, hit that uh, notification bell so you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. Thanks again for watching. God bless, and we'll see you next time.